Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, We're the Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And this is our review for Spoiler Alert. Spoiler Alert stars Jim Parsons, Ben Aldridge, and Sally Field. And it follows the relationship between Michael and Kit. So before we get started with our review, we do want to let you guys know that we also did an additional video for this movie, which you can watch right over here. Basically, we were inspired by Michael and Kit's love story, and we want to share a little bit of our own, so if you can go ahead and watch that if you would like. And with that said, we are going to go ahead and talk about this movie, and like you heard me say earlier, this is actually... Um, it's more than just following the, um, you know, the relationship between Michael and Kit. Um, this is actually a true life's tale, uh, and it's based on the book or the memoir by M Michael Osiello, who is, uh, the person that Jim Parsons is playing in the movie. And I know on this channel, we usually do reactions to upcoming trailers and whatnot, and we actually didn't film one for this one. I did watch the trailer before, um, we walked into the screening and there just was just wasn't enough time to do the reaction but I'm kind of glad we 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 didn't because I think I would have just been a sobby mess because you could tell by the trailer that yes it showcases stages of the relationship but it also like it doesn't have the happiest ending so I was like oh no um and then we and then you know then we went into the screening so I think it's it's a beautiful story that was told between Michael and Kit, how they met. Uh, I think it's um, really important for stories like Michael and Kit's to be told on the big screen. This one, it's not, it's real life. It's not comedy. There are comedic elements in it, but it's not made to be a comedy. You just go through the up and downs of their relationship, how they meet. Um, the honeymoon period, if you will, like every yeah. couple that goes through, um, to, you know, their first argument, meeting the parents and et cetera, and towards, um, a very difficult thing that the both of them have to experience and go through together. And I find that that's what this story really does focus on. It does a really good job on telling is the fact of what happens in a relationship when trauma or some kind of traumatic event happens mm -hmm. and it shows the growth and the fact that there is still there, that beauty behind that loss and that memory. After seeing the trailer for this movie and going in expecting kind of like a cute love story drama but when you actually get to the screening they have piles of tissues to get handed out and going into that knowing that oh Okay, this is the kind of story that we're getting. Yeah. And kind of preparing yourself to go in there and just bawl your eyes out to see this love story just not have, going through tragedy. But them building it up was also just such an important part, was seeing how these characters met, seeing the hardship that they've gone through, seeing their relationship, uh, what do you say, like warts and all? So you mm -hmm. see the good side, the bad side. It was very humanizing. It was, it made this relationship just seem so tangible and so real. And the actors, I think, did a great job on portraying these roles and characters. Yeah, absolutely. I got to say, I'm glad you brought up casting. Like, casting is 10-10. Mm -hmm. I think Jim Parsons captured the essence of uh, Michael's character and the way he he speaks as an actor would uh but i think the the real um the standout to me was ben ben aldridge and ben aldridge is such a standout to me because he played this his character is a lot more kind of um like hey i'm just here for a good time go with the flow and michael's character and i think it's also kind of like in line with his job because he's, he's, you know, uh, worked at the time in, in the movie, the towards the beginning worked for TV Guide. So, and I totally kind of get that, like working in like at an outlet or, or like an online, a digital uh, media outlet. Like, I, yeah, like I, I get the work and, and Kit is, you know, he's a photographer. So he's, he's just like, and I mean, they're both creative, but in different ways. Yeah, where Michael is very much the producer, the schedule, the, um, I just it has everything kind of planned and he's always kind of considered himself to be a little bit of a nerd or a <laughs> dork and just to see his confidence kind of bloom in this relationship with Kit who is very uh, much that go with the flow mm. and it's great it's always fun to see these stories 
of opposites attract. Yeah. You know, and that's actually something that really connected with me and my relationship because I see that a lot, see a lot of similarities between how our relationship is. And I just find it a very endearing, very just cute and adorable. And then to see that go through tragedy and how the problems that they have and the growth that they have yeah. throughout the entire movie. And I love also the way that it was kind of the flow of the movie. I think they did a great job on kind of prepping you at the beginning, setting up the story, and then really giving this climatic end and this bringing of all these themes together that they've been talking about through the entire movie. Yeah, so normally we don't do spoiler reviews on the channel, but I feel like with this story, to fully be able to talk about our feelings for it and how much it affected us, we got to go into a little bit more of a spoiler. Um, but again, this is also a book uh, and if you watch the trailer then you already know but if you don't want to know anymore then um, we would say maybe pause the video here and come back later after you've seen it but it's definitely worth a watch if this is where you depart us um, for everybody else who is staying here comes the spoiler so um, Kit is diagnosed with with an illness uh, and I think for a lot of us the audience member I think a lot of people go through it and when they see it on screen one, it's going to be triggering because it is so real. Um, just ev everything was... And I appreciate that they kept it that way. Um, I mean, it was hard to watch because it, automatically, as human beings, our memories trigger. And we immediately kind of go back to that daytime place. Right? But to watch the two of them go through it, friends and family, how they react to it, it was just... Um, let's just say I am glad that Michael was able to tell, it was important for Michael to tell the story and I'm glad that he was able to tell it. So, um, there's the reason why I don't want to go too much into it either because I don't want to cry on camera, but there, like Dustin mentioned earlier, there's a reason why they give you, um, or at least they gave us at the screening that we went to, <laughs> little packs of tissues. So, uh, you guys should definitely bring in tissues and or wear waterproof mascara and makeup uh, when you go and see this. But it is a lovely story, so I hope you guys um, do go and see it. That was also something that this movie did very well in grounding them because there's experiences that we have shared with the yeah. movie. And I just think that's something that had a huge effect on me because some of the health problems that they talked about this is I've experienced it it's firsthand. It's very parallel to, to yeah. what we've experienced. Like, it's not exactly identical, but it's pretty damn close. Mm -hmm. It's pretty damn close. Uh, there, was, there was a shot in there that actually got me where I was like, I'm going to hold it together. I'm good. I got this. And then they showed a shot, which I won't tell you guys what it is. And I was like, I don't got this. <laughs> <laughs> but I was comforted because every, literally, there was not a dry eye in the theater that we were. I, you, all you heard was sniffles. So, um, and again, I, and I, you know, Michael and Kit being uh, a queer couple, I just feel that it's really important for these stories to be out there on the big screen as yes. well. And I think they did a really, really good job um, with this story, though it has... Um, a sad ending to it so and with that said we're gonna go ahead and give you guys our rating here if you're curious about our rating system it is listed for your convenience in the video description below how would you rate this movie I thought there was a lot of really the, the acting was great the casting was done very well I love the build-up and the flow of the movie and there are a lot of things that hit home with this um, I'm definitely saying that you should you should go and matinee this movie I am going to give this one a check it out. Uh, I think it's an important story to tell. It's a beautiful story the way they did it. You know, we know Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. So, yeah. like, like, this is way more dramatic of a role. I'm not saying he can't do drama. But just I, And I think maybe that's why we, we were thinking, like, oh, haha, -ha, comedy. Right, because, yeah, no. <laughs> but it's 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 they got they got you with 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 Jim casting Jim in this. So those are our ratings for spoiler alert. The film will be in theaters on December second. So make sure you guys check it out when you get a chance, and then come back here and put down the comments and what you thought uh, of the film. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.